guys, welcome to another video. We have a super special video today. We are gonna be doing a how to maintain your strength during this quarantine. And don't listen to your bullshit coaches out there saying that you can 100% maintain all your goals and like all your lifts during this quarantine. Because Gym or at home, that will help you build muscle mass and get stronger. Because you can't. And the faster that you're gonna like accept this, this will be the faster that you are going to be ahead. So I'm going to show you some things to do that are going to help like maintain strength. But if you squat like 405, don't expect to squat 405 after this quarantine by doing this workout. It's very good. I don't think you ever squatted 405. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, bro. Oh, yeah, I did. Bro. I, I think it's simple, but it's something that you don't need a ton of equipment for and will really help work your central nervous system into just keeping those fast twitch muscle fibers firing at optimal levels. We're going to make a pre-workout. The one and only Martin filming once again. First link in the description. All right, guys, and like I always say, this channel would not be a channel without a dope ass edit. So we'll roll one. Three, two, one. All right guys, so we have a full workout. All you need is a barbell with some weights. You're gonna need one dumbbell, one bench, and some type of platform about this high. That's it. We're not making this complicated. We don't have you dropping three grand on a home gym. So first exercise is we are gonna do jump squats. Jump squats is amazing because it teaches your central nervous system still to lift at 100%. Ah! No matter what you do in powerlifting, whether you have 135 on the bar, 225, 315, you need to lift that weight like it's one, one rep max every single time. This will teach your central nervous system to be explosive and work at 100%. So right now we're gonna get our body warmed up and like let's hope we can just jump this high. <laughs> We're gonna do three sets of that, 10 reps each set. Hey guys, so exercise number two, we're gonna be doing front squats. We're gonna be doing five sets of 10 reps on every minute. So, Make sure you have a timer, set the timer right there. Like I said, you don't need to go up and get like 500 pounds of weight. Like if I were to buy 800 pounds of weight at $1.20 per pound, that's gonna be like $920 just in weight. We need to work with what we got here. And we just gotta keep pushing. Keep the heart rate high and keep the intensity high. If you're still gonna train for strength, there's no reason to do contractions with the legs and so on. Save your lunges for all the contractions. For front squats or back squats, whatever you're gonna choose to do, down, vroom. 
maximum effort every single time. Now, if you are gonna be bodybuilding, it is a completely different story. Use the lighter weight and work on muscle activation. Always go through a good range of motion, slow and controlled, and work on creating as much muscle tension as possible through the reps. Alright, and since you guys always ask me, this is my physique. Three weeks, 100% natural. All I'm doing is my PCT. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. I break down exactly what I did for my PCT. And it's time to do another set. <laughs> Kung flu. All right, guys. Next, we're gonna do walking barbell lunges. You can do these with dumbbells. Man, you can even do these with body weight. Doesn't really matter. Wow, one sec, let me catch my breath. The main focus for barbell lunges is to really work your glutes and your hamstrings. So, just because we don't have like a belt squat, we don't have a hyperextension, you're really gonna have to concentrate on your glutes and your hams. So every step that I take, I'm really pushing in with my glutes, up with my glutes, like everything. Like you have to act like you're in prison. Like you need to fucking clench those cheeks that like you're about to get ass raped in the bathroom. You got to the count of five. So every single step, nice and squeeze, push up through the glutes, up through the hamstrings, and then extend your quad. And then obviously flex your quads at the top. We're gonna do these on the heavier side, but we're still gonna control the weight. So this is not something that we're gonna be like, like fucking Super Mario. We're gonna do two sets of lunges. I just want you to walk as far as you possibly can go. And then when you don't think that you can go any further, turn around and make your way fucking back. Cause we're not raising bitches here. We're not raising snowflakes. You guys have to push the intensity. Like the only way that you guys are gonna even maintain what you have is if you can somehow keep your intensity around the same level as the gym. Like, you don't have to lift the exact same in the gym, but you really have to push the intensity here. So, let's go to lunges. And like, cut it, and then put me walking, like, way down the street. Across the block with 135. Sounds like a button. Technically, like, it's 132.5, but... Alrighty. <laughs> exercise we're doing is hip thrusts. I mean hip thrusts are like pretty much a standard in most powerlifting. Again, glutes and hammies, glutes and hammies. 60% of your lifts guys is gonna be through your hamstrings and your glutes. I mean it's just a fact. That's why like good girl, bad girl machines, those hip abductors, is the reason I squatted 800 pounds. Obviously guys when you squat what is your main focus it's keeping tension in your hamstrings and your glutes obviously your quads as well 
and it's about pushing your knees out as hard as you can. So if you go on a hip abduction machine, you stack that thing heavy and all you do is force your knees out with lots of weight. When you get under the five, six, seven, eight hundred pounds, your knees are a lot less likely to collapse in. I mean, you need a bubble butt, but, bubble, bubble, bubble butt to squat eight hundred pounds. Oh, this is this is makeshift AF. guys a little insight like on my training like right now like I said I'm fully natural so I'm only doing three workouts a week stuff like you have to think when you're at work always moving depending on what you work or where you work you're burning so many calories in the day but now you're like moseying on around the house or like mostly sitting all day so you're gonna have to do something to like get your heart rate up keep moving and just burn those calories that you're used to. Especially you guys that are prepping and you're continuing the prep through the quarantine, you're going from burning maybe like 10,000 calories a day to burning 3,000 calories a day. So your coach is gonna have to alter your diet because of that. And a lot of scammers out there guys that are just trying to sell you like their workout plans, their home workout, like you can look like me if you do these home workouts, like, I mean, believe what you want, but there's only a few people giving like real advice out there. And usually it's the people not trying to sell you stuff, oddly enough. It's all about humanity. Very straightforward. We're just gonna pump up the hamstrings like no tomorrow. We've done a lot of quad work, so our quad work was our front squats the top of the lunges. We did a lot of glute and hamstring work. That was the bottom of the lunges and the hip thrusts. Now we're gonna really focus just purely on the hamstrings, get as much blood in there as possible. So all you need is a dumbbell, that's it. Place it up like here, you know, lay down. If you have a yoga mat, obviously, it'll save your clothes from getting dirty. Just lock your feet in and just Curl away with your bicep femoris. Oh yeah, guys, so obviously for hip thrusts, just four sets of anywhere between six to eight reps is good. Um, like I usually don't go heavy on hip thrusts. I try to focus like more on control. This is all we had in weight. So if you have less weight than this, just increase the reps, but do it with the same intensity. And then for these hamstring curls, I like to do like the 100 rep challenge, which is basically you do four sets of 25 reps. Um, I do that for a lot of things. I do that for arms. I do that at the end of chest day for push-ups. I just think like 100 reps in the span of like four minutes and just pumping as much blood into the muscle as possible is your best case scenario. You know, like your first exercises should be like the heavy, grunt 100 maximum force rip those muscle tissues as much as you possibly can and then do your light work towards the end and just pump full of nutrients full of blood all right guys so that concludes your leg workout to try to maintain as much strength as possible. Like I said, without putting your central nervous system under the type of pressure and weights that it's used to, it's very, very hard. Like for example, just from personal experience, when I do a powerlifting peak, I peak for about three months. In that three months, my strength is already there. It's about getting used to the weight again. So if 405 is really, really heavy for you, and you don't have 405 on your back for let's say three months, the first time 405 gets on your back, it's gonna feel like shit. Even though your strength is most likely still gonna be here, it's just, it's gonna feel bad and you probably won't have enough strength to actually get it up because you're not used to 405 anymore. It's gonna take you a couple weeks to get back into that. 
So with that said, doing these like maintenance workouts around the house, you'll be back to squatting what you were a lot quicker than if you were to just take two months off lifting completely. Just do the best you can and let's hope that this COVID-19 blows over and we can get back into the gym where we belong. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps this channel grow. If you guys have anything that you want to see, we're going to be posting content two times a week, guys. We are so ahead of schedule that I can't wait to start this. If you guys want to check out Martin, the guy who made that dope ass edit at the beginning of this video, again, first link in the description. We will see you guys next week.